everyone out there in Bourbon Real Talk land, wanted to do a real quick educational piece about proofing. So I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I was pretty involved in collecting whiskey before I found out that when they dump the barrel after they've aged the product and they're about to put it in a bottle, they actually add water to it and that's called proofing. And so if you sit down and you talk with the individuals that are responsible for blending the barrels together in a batch, often you'll find out that when they're creating a new whiskey, they will water that whiskey down to various proofs. And at different proofs, you can actually taste different components of the whiskey. And from what I've been told from experts, whiskey that is at a much lower proof, say 60 proof, it's easier to detect the flaws that are in a whiskey. So often when they're sampling barrels and they're trying to determine whether or not the barrel is ready to be pulled out of the warehouse and turned into bottled whiskey, they will taste it at a much lower proof because they can detect flaws. The reverse is also true higher proof whiskeys tend to taste better to experience more mature palates so long as the alcohol level isn't you know offensive to you those whiskeys tend to taste better and so it can be kind of interesting to take a higher proof whiskey maybe a barrel proof or cash strength whiskey and proof that down at your house to a lower proof and see if you like it as much but making that decision is not only a decision about flavor, which is what the distilleries always want to lead you to believe, it is sometimes a decision about profitability because obviously it costs a whole lot less money to fill part of that bottle up with distilled water than it would to fill it up with all aged whiskey that they've been paying to store and all of those things. And so in the whiskey world, whiskeys that are below say 90 proof are generally you know looked down upon um, by more mature whiskey drinkers although that's not always the case but it is it is often the case because that is seen as the distillery sometimes trying to you know stretch that product out a little bit and make a little bit more profit off of that uh, the water that's added to it actually doesn't affect the flavor except that because it's distilled water so it's not like it's got a lot of you know mineral compounds in it or anything like that that are going to you know chemically react with that whiskey it's distilled water um, but that water also has not had a chance to interact with the barrel because it is added in the blending process after the whiskey's been removed from the barrel and so it doesn't it didn't pull any flavor compounds out it's not brown like it would be if it was in there with the whiskey and so that's kind of the proofing process and if you didn't know that they add water to the whiskey before they put it in the barrel now you know so if you have any other questions feel free to throw them in the comments below and i'll see you next time on bourbon real talk <music>